A day lost means a concept is lost. So a lot of things we done on Saturday, we talk about different modes of entry of the pollen tube in the embryo sac. Hey na? So there were three main methods. Who is going to tell me? Three main methods? Entry of the pollen tube into the embryo sac. Uh -huh. Plasmogamy. 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 and Okay, porogamy is the entry of the pollen tube into embryo sac where it is through the micropyle, right? And when the entry of the pollen tube was through chalaza, that is opposite to the micropylar head, then, essay na, ye, this is the chalaza leg, this is the micropylar head. Okay, all of this pollen tube, anyhow, poisabi mode it is going to be, they have to enter through this micropyle only. But if it is not crossing chalaza, if it is not crossing intuguments, and only like one way it is left, it is entering through micropyle, this was the porokami. And if it anyhow it was like cutting this chalaza and then coming and entering through micropyle, it was chalazogami. And like it was cutting the integuments and then coming and entering from the microbile into the egg apparatus, that was mesogami. Okay? So, we have discussed them. Then we come on to the topic which was pollination. Okay? Or pollination is one of the exceptionally important topic. So come back to the pollination girls and boys again. Pollination may we talk about two modes of pollination. Self and cross. Self pollination technically was autogamy. Very good. And cross pollination technically was Xenogamy. 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 we can say. Okay? And then from this cross pollination, like self pollination was truly happening in the flower. Yes. There is a flower which was happen, have, having both of these words like stigma bhi and anthropy. Okay? When the both of the words like the pollen and the stigma were on the same flower exactly. So of course it is on the same plant only. Okay? Mm -hmm. If we are talking about the same flower, then truly it was a autogamy. Mm -hmm. okay? Self-fertilization. But when we say cross-pollination, this should be between two different plants. Like a okay. male and female plant is there. But there is one more thing which is genetically autogamy. But technically, allogamy or xenogamy, the sister, getonogamy. Getonogamy means neighbor's marriage. Means, here the flower was on the same plant, but two different flowers are used. Right? So, a type of cross pollination it is. But if you see the genes, the genes of them are same only. Tick. This we have learned. Then we have also talked about chasmogamous and cleistogamous plants. Okay? What are the examples of them? Formalina oxalis. Formalina oxalis viola. Viola. Very good. Okay? Acha. Then we have also seen that uh, cross pollination is a wonderful way to bring about variations in the plant. And self pollination say there can be inbreeding depressions. <laughs> so, in order to avoid this self pollination, even if a plant is having both of these things on a same flower, so they try to adapt a number of tricks. On that tricks, we have seen genetic incompatibility was one thing. Or the pollen and this uh, 
uh, stigma was maturing on different times even if it is on the same plant tabhi pollen and uh, stigma they are maturing on the different times because in order to do the pollination it is very important ki pollen and the stigma they need to be receptive at same time you know they need to be mature at same time so wahan pe like pollen and stigma they are not maturing at the same time and then another thing which we have seen was diagnogamy wahan pe we have seen heterostyly you know at diagnogamy we have seen uh, like this wala and another thing was the yes heterostyly diagnogamy mein like what i am saying if pollen and stigma are not maturing on the same time वहां पे वी हैव सीन प्रोटैंड्री एंड प्रोटो गाइनी ठीक एंड देन अनदर थिंग वाज द लाइक हैविंग डिफरेंट लेंथ्स ऑफ दिस स्टेमेन एंड दिस स्टिग्मास राइट दिस वाज अंडर द हेट्रो स्टाइली ठीक वहां पे आई हैव टोल्ड यू अबाउट डाइस्टाइली एंड ट्राइस्टाइली ठीक देन आई स्टार्ट टॉकिंग अबाउट डिफरेंट एजेंट्स ऑफ पोलिनेशन ठीक है तो लेट्स डिस्कस फ्रॉम दैट पॉइंट एंड दिस इज द पॉइंट वेयर वी एंड आवर लास्ट सेशन ठीक सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द एजेंट्स ऑफ पोलिनेशन दिस सीम्स टू बी अ इजीयर टॉपिक बिकॉज़ वी आर लर्निंग इट फ्रॉम व्हेन वी वर किड्स ठीक सो यही से वी आर गोइंग टू डू दिस बट वी विल बी डूइंग इन अ प्रॉपर वे ओनली so that if you are getting any question you should need to understand ke like yeah this thing is also possible so agents of pollination may there are different agents if you have seen ke there are many uh, small size pollens as well like there are many plants who are having pollen grains of very lighter weights or some of the pollens they have also shown wings theek hai we are not going to discuss the so many examples see that is not a part of the syllabus we are going to do only the examples which are there in ncert bus because they are more than enough <coughs> see so there are many uh, pollens uh, which are very lighter in anyway. weight so we must understand that of course they are mean for this wind pollination okay there are many pollens or there are many plants who are scented so scents or having a lot of pollen ठीक, these are happening in two different types of plants. If there is wind pollination, so there is a presence of lot of pollen. ठीक, because a lot of pollen is going to get waste. But if there is a plant which is being pollinated by the insects and all, then technically it should be having less number of pollen, है ना? But the plant need to be scented. and this is what ncert is saying in its line but they are also saying one more line ke these pollen grains and the copious <coughs> amount of nectars they are used as a they are used as a treat for the insects or the bats whatever they are coming <coughs> to fertilize to go for the pollination hai na so this means that like insect pollination while it technically it should be less pollen but if this is being used as a floral reward then it should be more amount hai na so we cannot clearly say it is less yeah it is more okay but scent is one of the thing which we will be watching so let's first divide this agents of pollination into two sections that is there be biotic and abiotic agents Ma'am, even the mouth, which is a virus, Apifera, it mimics itself. It changes its, uh, its form into a flower from pollination. Yes, it's right. Like Ophrys. Ophrys, me, it resembles the female moth, है ना? And then the male moth is going and fertilizing it because it is uh, fertilizing it because it is thinking it is the female moth, but actually it is pollinating the flower. that is one such method of the insect pollination so let's first do it so the pollination ha huh. let's first do it from here biotic and abiotic biotic and abiotic 
So two things we are going to learn in this biotech. One which is done by wind, है ना? And the other which is done by the water. Wind pollination को भी कौन? Anemophily. And water वाली को? Hydrophily. Very good. Hydrophily. A biotech. ये मैंने biotech में क्यों लिखा? है? वही सोचा लेकिन बोला नहीं। बायोटेक ठीक है। बायोटेक वाले में means of course the living creatures are used, so you are going to use the insects, insects में bees, honey bee and everything like which are from this insecta they are going to come, ठीक? तो insects हो गए, this means and nemophily Then after that birds, birds वाला, नहीं, ornithopedy, ornithopedy and bats, cheropterophily, cheropterophily and this is not the only thing, ठीक है? This is not the only thing in the biotech. There are some monkeys like lemurs, and you know, some arboreals. Arboreal means tree dwelling organisms. They are also seen to do the pollination. They are also seen to do so pollination. So one by one we are going with each one. Let's go for this anemophily first. <coughs> Anemophily. In this anemophily, if you have seen like maize grain, okay? Here, usually, like the free flowing stamens are present, and then the flower, uh, female flower is present, which is having this stigmas. These are also like something flowing, okay? So, when you see okay, a lot of stamens which are freely moving in the air so that they can shed out their pollen and they can come and they can fuse with the stigmas. So, here especially you need to understand that in anemophily it is very important I am talking about the wind pollination, right? That the pollen grain need to be pollen grain need to be in large quantity. Light and weight in large quantities. Why in large quantities it is required? Ma'am, in order to maximize transfer of pollination. Yes, in order to maximize this transfer of pollination, that's true. But exactly, like Nikita is saying, it has got to get. So means this exactly means that there is a lot of wastage of the pollen grains because there is no such assured thing, you know? Okay, it is not only targeting this the flower stigma only. And of course, when you see the season, some of the wind pollinated these things they usually come to your house also. Okay, and sometimes, sometimes, sometimes the fruits. There are some fruits which can germinate through this, okay? So seeds exactly, there are some seeds which are showing the winds. They usually come to your house, which are a post-fertilization event of course, but they are some of the modes of their transfusion only. Okay, so there are number of pollens and pollens are of course microscopic in size, you cannot uh, clearly determine them, okay? But they usually come and they are having this wings most of them or they are either lighter in weight and this is like they are produced in the large quantities in order to maximize the chances of pollination because there is a large amount of wastage of these pollen grains. Now, wastage is more and that is why they are produced in large quantities. Then, one more thing, you need to know that the flowers which are pollinated through this way, 
they are not having this fragrance at all because there is no need for the fragrance. So usually lighter in shades, light, pale colored. And less here, yeah, no scent is there. Okay, no scent is there. So this is the thing in the animobili. You have to remember this much only. Then come to the next thing, which is hydrobili. So there are lot of plants which are there in the water. Okay? There are lot of aquatic plants which are there in the water. But it doesn't mean that all the aquatic plants they are having this hydrobili. Because if a plant like a free floating categories, if the plant is above the level of water, so they can also go for wind pollination or yeah, yeah, insect like pollination as well. Okay? So true hydrophily, we are having the examples. There are some plants which are showing this true hydrophily. Just go for them. Like one example is of very good. Well, it's an area. Another, and if anyone knows? Hydrilla. Hydrilla. Very good. Hydrilla. Or what? Huh? Okay. Zoosters. Oh, ah. Right? I, zoostera is a type of like marine weeds, yeah, aquatic weed type of plant it is. Well, this area is showing wonderful thing in this pollination. Let's check out for Velisneria first. There is the plant, you know, and Velisneria, what is happening? The female plant, which is like it is this thing. Female plant here, it is having a long. This is a flower. Female flower. Hai. It is like it is little bit above the level of water. And male flower hai, and this is released and they are lighter in weight and they will go to the top and like they are here. Even if it is like it is going to come to this surface. And when they are fertilized, when they are fertilized with the male flower, next stage yaan pe dikha hai ek aur. like they have this coiling type of thing. And when it is fertilized, it is gradually coming down. It is gradually coming down and then it is maturing. <coughs> Some of this water pollinated like in Zoostera. What Zoostera is having? Zoostera is having needle like of these uh, anthers and they are without this exine. Without this exine and if they are without this exine, this means that of course this pollen grain is not going to survive for a lot more of the year. But they try to get uh, pollinate the flower as soon as possible. There are also many plants which are having like two pollination wale stamens, like they are ribbon like, you know? they are ribbon like and they come flowing down the water surface and they are going to pollinate the female flower or the flower. Okay? Because it is not always the thing the flower is going to be a female or the male only. Okay? Got it everyone? Then come to the next thing. Next one I am biotic. In biotic mode, if you are watching different modes of pollination, if we see first with this, insects. Entimophily. The flowers of this insect pollination they need to be bright colored. Very good. They need to be fragrant. Great smelling. Okay. They need to be bright colored. They need to be fragrant. Second thing, they should also give, like especially in the biotic wala pollinators I am telling, okay, they should be able to give the pollinating agent some 
फ्लोरल रिवार्ड्स तो फ्लोरल रिवार्ड्स फ्लोरल रिवार्ड्स के लिए वर्ड देखेंगे इधर देखेंगे नेक्टर एंड यूजुअली व्हाट इज हैपनिंग कि हनी बी इज समिंग एंड इज टेकिंग द नेक्टर ठीक स्पेशली मोर अमाउंट ऑफ पोलन ग्रेन इज प्रोड्यूस्ड इन जिराफियोपेली यहां पे भी इट इज लाइक बैक पोलिनेशन है ना दिस आल्सो नीड फ्लोरल रिवर्ड सो मोर पोलन and of course nectar to is required he required but you must compare the two things ke antimophily hua and ornithophily hua okay their flowers are attracted bright color theek their flowers are fragrant and floral reward is a thing but you are talking about chiraptilophily yahan pe light pale colored of flowers are here Light pale colors. Why? Because usually, chiraptopili takes place in the night time, and it is not required to give a proper color to the flower. So usually, pale colored of flowers are there in the chiraptopili. Acha. Second thing. Second thing in this antimophili, a what happened? The pollen grain is like sticky. Pollen grain is usually sticky in this antimophily or in ornithophily even sticky pollens. Ha, huh. like even if you see there is a flower of salvia. यहाँ पे देखो. Salvia का flower is little bit like this. के the flower of and this is having a liver mechanism suppose one half of this is fertile like ye wala maan lete hain ki this is having this pollens are here but this half pe ya uh, just a second one half of this is having a fertile pollen fertile in the sense means ke having the pollen grains of quality which can fertilize the thing theek wo fertile nahi it is already fertilized ठीक, so one half of this like suppose ये वाला है, which is having the pollen grains, and this half, this is a, this ये क्या है, this is the stamen, है ना, this is the stamen only, and this is a liver mechanism in the flower of this salvia, ठीक, and this is the thing which is not having the pollen grains, कि यहाँ पे what is going to happen, कि एक insect आया, ठीक, and the insect is sitting here, so this petal will go down. ठीक एंड देन दिस अपर पार्ट विल स्टिक टू द बॉडी ऑफ द इंसेक्ट एंड दिस विल गेट अटैच टू द बॉडी एंड व्हेन इट इज गोइंग टू फ्यूज विद द अदर प्लांट या जहां पर भी द स्टिग्मास आर प्रेजेंट देन इट इज गोइंग टू इट इज गोइंग टू ट्रांसफर दिस पोलन ग्रेन देयर गेटिंग बेटा समझ में आ रहा है ये नहीं आया सेल्विया में देयर इज अ Stamen, ठीक? A stamen is like in upper part, uh, anterior part of the stamen is of two type, ठीक? Two part में it is dividing. तो यहाँ पे insect is sitting, तो ये नीचे करेगा whole of the stamen, जब नीचे करेगा तो this will get a shaking upper part, है ना? So then it is going to deposit the pollen grains on the back of this insect, ठीक? और जब इस पे बैक पे इंसेक्ट के लग रहे पोलन ग्रेन व्हेन इट इज गोइंग टू द अदर फ्लावर सो इट इज गोइंग टू ट्रांसफर दिस पोलन टू द स्टिग्मा गॉट इट चलिए सो दिस इज वन सच थिंग इसी की तरह देयर आर मेनी सच टाइप ऑफ इंटरेक्शंस आल्सो सीन ठीक लाइक अमोनको पेलस यू नो इट इज वन ऑफ द लार्जेस्ट फ्लावर है ना कुछ इतना बड़ा बहुत कुछ ऐसा बिगर टाइप एमोको पेलस होता क्या है इट इज यूजुअली अ प्लांट व्हिच इज हैविंग इट्स फ्रूट अंडरग्राउंड एंड लीव्स आप लोगों ने कभी ये सुना है जिमी कांड सूरन जी उसी का फ्लावर इट इज अबव द लेवल ऑफ द ग्राउंड दिस इज कॉल्ड एमोको पेलस इट इज दो सो बिग 
and it is allowing a lot of space for the insects, even some other organisms also to deposit their egg inside it, inside its body. Okay? And like this way when they are entering and they are going and of course they are pollinating this plant, pollinating this plant. Another thing like about which uh, Manal was talking about, there is one plant which is called Ophrys. Okay? Ophrys flower is somehow resembling the female moth. Okay? It is having a relationship with the moth. And this Ophrys flower in turn get pollinated because the male moth is coming to fertilize its moth. Okay? Its female version. But exactly where it is getting a type of is it a type of boka of course because that is not the female moth that was the flower only poor moth you know? so this is how this pollination takes place there are also some relationships with other there is one very famous father with the yucca flower and the yucca moth this yucca moth she lays her egg in the yucca flower Thick. And when the egg apparatus gets mature, flower the egg apparatus along with the and of course see their timings are also similar because nature has devised them like this. And their yaka ke eggs are also maturing. You know? She has laid the egg in that hole of this thing, flower egg. And when the egg apparatus is maturing, it is rupturing to take out the things. Meantime, this yaka ke eggs are also maturing. Think the yaka moth is also one of the famous pollinating agent because it is related with this yaka flower. So of course, you I hope you have learned a number of examples from this antigopili. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, ornithophily is especially not mentioned in the NCRD textbook, you know? but uh, I can tell you like what is the pattern of the flower of this ornithophily. They usually have this type of flowers where ornithophily is happening and like the birds, if you have seen especially like hummingbird type of bird, who have got like longer beaks, you know? they come, in, they exactly come to suck the nectar inside these types of flowers. And you know, there is one such that also the flowers which you see, they have some lines, some margins present on them and especially the flowers which are pollinated by the biotic agents. They have some lines. And it is a lines plus fetching chimuti. We do see that it is their pattern or their style, but exactly these are the guidelines for their respective pollinating agent as a map. And through that map, they are reaching to the nectary of the flower. Okay? So nature is so perfect. <coughs> you know? Nature is so perfect. And we are thus devising loopholes through our anthropogenic activities. In fact, we are like laying out so many loopholes in the nature. Otherwise, nature is so perfect. They have even, they are, nature has taken care of this insect or bird, each and every organism. Okay, for their food, nature is so careful. Okay, they know okay, they are going to get the nectar from the plants. So for them, they have made the nectaries maps. They have, they have made these maps for them even, in which they understand, which we don't. A specialist in this can understand only this thing. Okay, so this was for the ornithophily. Achha, in this insect pollination only, uh, why do you forget about house flies and some type of flies? And, uh, and house flies, etc., they get attracted by the bad odor, by the bad smell. So there are some plants which are giving out bad smells even. So as to attract these common valley bees. Achha. There, uh, when it comes of this chiraptilopili, in the case of this bat pollination, there need to be a copious amount of nectar and the <coughs> pollen grains as well in large amount. So, as to give these bats a plural rewards because they how they are getting.
getting attracted to the flower. Of course, with the, like they are uh, attracted to eat that pollen grain or to drink that nectar. So these types of flowers are also present. So what I hope that all of you are going to read this whole thing from the NCRT textbooks. Okay, all of you are going to read this whole thing from the NCRT textbooks. Okay. So pollination is clear to everyone now. I have revised the previous topic as well. Okay. And I have given you something more in this pollination. Clear Pushkin? Ram clear? Okay, to everyone the pollination is clear. What about you, Pita? Okay, Priyanka? So, next topic, we have done everything so far in the chapter. We have even seen how fertilization is taking place. So, next topic which we are going to do now is the post-fertilization adaptations or how a embryo is going to form. And everyone concentrate here because this is going to be truly interesting. सबसे पहले when this is the embryo sac ठीक है this and we have enough to talk in this topic and please don't match line to line from this chapter because I am also going to tell you something more from the other chapters also because I have to finish this type of lineage. Mm -hmm. Okay? Even like some points I am going to give you from that last uh, uh, <coughs> chapter of this botany which is having the hormones etc. Right now I am not going to discuss about the hormones but the type of germination also I am going to tell you. Okay? So this is the embryo sac. Embryo sac mein, this is the point like I am marking it out because I am not showing the intubuments etc. This is the micropylar uh, end and this is the chalasal end. In the micropylar end, an apparatus is there. Ye ho gaya. Along with the synergids, the egg apparatus is present. Right? And yaha pe you are watching this triple end because this is of course post fertilization. Deep. Here this is deployed, two N is here and triple N is here which was the PEN, primary endosperm nucleus and here three antipodals this was the three antipodals and this the whole of this ovule was there ovule is it a? it means like it's a little doubt about the question okay, what doubt is it? I was going to say that it was 7-cell, 8-nucleate, right? Yes, it was 8-nucleate, but it was 7-cell. 8-cell, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay? First, it was 8-nucleate, right? 7-cell, 8-nucleate. Now, we are on the step which is post-fertilization, right? So, here the things have changed. This is overall the this ovule. यहाँ पर new cellus है, है ना? यहाँ पर new cellus है. Ploidy of new cellus? Two. अब कहाँ ना? ठीक. Ploidy of integument? Two. Two. ठीक. यहाँ पे micropylar है. पक्का. Now अभी सब चीज़े everything is done. ठीक. This is post fertilization. So what will happen? कि ये जो cells है of this endosperm, they start to divide, you know? they start to form. Now how they are forming? Of course through mitosis of PEN, primary endosperm nucleus is going to do the mitosis. Now meiosis is not done. Meiosis was only done to form the gametes. Remember everyone. Okay, whatever the type of divisions and divisions are going to happen, now they are only mitosis. Okay, post fertilization, whatever the type of division is, it is only <coughs> mitosis. Okay, so number of PEN, they will divide to form the 
endosperm. So first let's talk about the endosperm only. How was this PEN was formed? Triple fusion. Triple fusion. Triple fusion. Triple fusion. Like one of the male cell, male nuclei fused with this two nuclei to the definitive nucleus. देखो ये ये दो पोलर न्यूक्लियाइ थे और देन ये आपके एंटीपोलर सेल्स थे जी बिफोर एक्जेक्टली यहाँ पे एक मेल न्यूक्लियाइ इस कमिंग टू फ्यूज विद दिस एंड वन इस कमिंग टू फ्यूज विद दिस अभी तक वी आर कॉलिंग दिस पोलर न्यूक्लियाइ ठीक यहाँ पे कोई सेल का बाउंड्री इस नॉट दिया ठीक है तो यहाँ तक देखो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवेन एट ठीक है एट न्यूक्लियाइ एंड सेवेन सेल्स ठीक ये चीज आपने देखी है तो सेल एक सेल ये भी तो यू आर काउंटिंग ना अभी तो यू आर काउंटिंग सेवेन सेल ठीक है ये चीज अच्छा बिफोर फर्टिलाइजेशन बिफोर फर्टिलाइजेशन व्हाई आई एम सेइंग दो यार दे हैव एब्सेंट ही ये एल एन एन जो थे एल एन एन प्लस एन दे हैव फ्यूज टू फॉर्म दिस टू एल एंड दिस टू एल इस कॉल्ड so the male nuclei is going to fuse with the definitive nucleus. So here the male nuclei are and here the male nuclei. Right? This one is forming 2L and this one is forming 3L. And this 3L is the PEL. And this PEL will undergo lot of mitosis. Got it? Here is clear. Okay? Now when mitosis is happening to form the Endosperm. Three types of endosperms are seen. So let's see the types of endosperm. Three types of endosperm is seen. One is the cellular, another is the acellular, and third. Hellobial. ठीक है. Third is the hellobial. अब let's see कि what is happening with each other. Okay. तो यहाँ पे तीन structures I'm giving. One is the cellular वाला. First वाला I'm giving for cellular. So everyone please focus कि when this cellular वाला division is taking place, like के mitosis हुई P E N में. ठीक है. Of course this endosperm is going to be triple nuclei. सारा वाले में मतलब और इवन आफ्टर माइटोसिस भी जितने भी सेल्स दे आर फॉर्मिंग दे आर गोइंग टू बी ट्रिप्लोइड ओनली दे आर गोइंग टू बी ट्रिप्लोइड ओनली सो व्हेन द सेल्युलर वाला इज हैपनिंग लाइक एक रहा होगा एंड देन दे आर गोइंग टू गेट डिपॉजिट देमसेल ऑन द बॉर्डर्स ठीक है दे आर गोइंग टू गेट पोस्ट डिविजंस they are going to deposit themselves on the borders and in the center C they are forming one big vacuole in the center they are forming one big vacuole so <coughs> they are forming this big vacuole and gradually this vacuole is removed by division of them so you can watch in the cellular wala side ke first on the peri peri they are forming First on the periphery they are forming and then from the periphery they are moving towards the center to form this endosperm which I have shown right now. Okay, now it is full of this but this is just one minute before it was having the vacuole also. In the same figure I have shown exactly. So clear? How is this cellular endosperm forming? Next come to a cellular. Okay? A cellular में what is happening कि A cellular वाले में like it is forming number of nuclei ठीक तो nuclear division तो is taking place but karyogamy तो is taking place karyogamy भी तो sorry nuclear division तो is taking place but cytokinesis is not taking place cell wall formation is not taking place 
for some period of time, not always. Okay? So like, you all have drink coconut water. So coconut water in the young green coconut liquid, I am talking about that. Okay? Young green coconut water, I am talking about that there plenty of water is there. Okay? And the BB stage is a stage O B called a lot of nuclei are there in a single cell only. Is stage O B called cenocytic. Cenocytic. And this type of division, a cellular division, you see in the coconut water when they are young. Acha, after some time coconut water also get dry. Na? Hmm? So it is because ke they now they form this cell wall formation and wo bhi in a method of cellular wala style. Wo bhi in a method of cellular wala style. Ke pehle on the peripheries and then towards the center. So please remember ke a cellular wala is giving you this coconut water, but cellular wala is giving you coconut flesh. The white part you eat, na? it is because of this. Both of them are endosperm. Please remember this thing. Ke jo coconut flesh, coconut meat, white part you are eating. That is also endosperm. And this uh, liquid which you are drinking. That is also endosperm. But both are formed through different methods of this endosperm development. This liquid is through a cellular and the flesh is through the cellular. cellular. Clear to everyone? Here, what is happening in the endosperm? This is a little bit like this is an endosperm. This is an embryo sac. And of course, in this case, you are going to work this whole embryo mm -hmm. along with the, this. But we are just focusing on this uh, endosperm division only. So first, what happens is first a max mitotic division takes place. Max mitotic. Max mitotic means it is dividing this whole into two parts through a bigger division. Okay? And then a monocyte will be 3 and 3 and 2 big cells are formed. Okay? And after that, like here again, they are following this cellular wala pattern. After that, they are following this cellular wala pattern. So you can notice this cellular wala is one of the chief important pattern. Because before they are little bit different, but everyone is following that pattern only at the end. So this means that cell formation, cytokinesis is the prime thing will they have to do. But initial may they are having some little bit changes, and that is why we get different different things. I hope the types of endosperm is clear to everyone. Yes, ma'am. To everyone, Reshma Shanmukha. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Chali. Ma'am, it's made a little bit of an example. Yeah, I'm going to show you. Okay. Yeah, it's clear. Chali. Now, let's come to another thing and let's see how is overall embryo germinating. Okay. How is overall embryo generation? So we are focusing from that aspect now to this same embryo cell. Okay. Here we have egg. Two egg is fertilized. Hai. This is clear to everyone. Okay. Rest of the portions we have what is happening? <coughs> Endosperm. Okay. Endosperm is a thing which is going to give the nutrition to the developing plants. Mm -hmm. And in some plants, and usually it is seen in the monopods. Yeah, I have a in fact. Endosperm is the thing which is going to give the nutrition to the growing plant means seedling ke liye ya seed ke liye. Okay? And there are some plants, it is not always a compulsion. I will tell you in the morphology chapter there. But it is not always a compulsion. But it is seen that most of the monopods, they are endospermic. Means they are not they are not using so much of their endosperm. And most of the dicots, 
they are non endoscopic but this is not every one is same okay so there are two categories of plant one is the endospermic and the other is the non endospermic so endospermic wale ke liye there is one more word albuminous okay and non endospermic ke liye x albuminous i am writing just yahan pe likh de rahi hu theek hai albuminous aur yahan pe non albuminous okay theek hai clear तो यूजुअली यूजुअली ये सिनेरियो है दिस इज नॉट अ कपल चेन अगेन आई एम सेइंग के दोस हु आर नॉन एंडोस्पर्मिक दे आर डाइकॉर्ड्स मींस दे आर हैविंग टू पीरियड्स एंड दोस हु आर एंडोस्पर्मिक यूजुअली दे आर मोनोकॉर्ड्स मींस दे आर गोइंग टू हैव ओनली वन क्वार्टीलेड ठीक है अब बाकी का यू विल अंडरस्टैंड इन दिस एम्ब्रियो डेवलपमेंट सो यहां पे डिप्लॉयड ठीक अब व्हाट एवर इसके बाद फर्टिलाइजेशन इज ऑलरेडी टेकन प्लेस ठीक व्हाट एवर द डिवीजन दे हैव टू टेक प्लेस इज ओनली नाउ थ्रू वन मोड व्हिच इज माइटोसिस माइटोसिस इधर ध्यान दो बेटा सामने की तरफ बिठा दो कि बुला के फिर दिस इज माइटोसिस मुझे नहीं चाहिए कि किसी की भी सीट जाए ये सीट जाए पर मेन सीट ना जाए है ना दिस सीट इज नॉट सो इंपॉर्टेंट मेन गवर्नमेंट सीट इज इंपॉर्टेंट ओके एंड सी हाउ काम एंड क्वाइट शी इज सिटिंग एंड शी इज फोकसिंग ऑन द टॉपिक एंड आई नो कि लाइक शी इज अंडरस्टैंडिंग द थिंग्स अब आगे बाद में चेंजेस आए तो आई डोंट नो अबाउट दैट ठीक है पोस्ट फ्रेंडशिप चेंजेस अरे पोस्ट फ्रेंडशिप चेंजेस आते हैं राइट Tell you. So come to this mitosis. So this wala is going to do the mitosis. Main fertilized wala is doing the mitosis. Now this wala is just dividing into two. Chit. E and S. I'm writing two words. Okay. Ye always you have to think that the side where egg is present, this is the mitochondrial end, and opposite is the chalazal end. Yahan pe dhyan rakhenge. Chit. Ye jo hai. embryo chalaza and this wala suspensor is on the mitochondria equal equal this is the embryo cell and ye same hai the same fertilized egg hai theek ye kya tha this was the egg or this egg plus male nuclei it is this thing hai na <coughs> and now it has divided into two part upper part in the embryo cell and lower part as the suspensor cell lower part as the suspensor cells and some authors the thing ke it is like of course it is a part of fertilized egg only some authors the thing ke like it is the capability of the suspensor cell to change the method of this embryo Yeah, whether in which mode it is going to divide in the monoquart format or in the dicot format. <coughs> Whatever strategy we right now developmental strategy given in your book in your syllabus is only for the dicot stage. So in the initial stages they are same. ठीक है तो वी विल बी वाचिंग द डेवलपमेंट टिल द डाइकॉट स्टेज एंड एट द एंड दे आर आल्सो गोइंग टू सी हाउ अ मोनोक्वार्ट एम्ब्रियो लुक्स लाइक. ओके? So, the chalaza on the side way is the embryo cell, and microphyte on the side way is the suspensor cell. Yeah, that clear, na? To everyone? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Of course, again they are going to have number of divisions. Okay. So, ye ek suspensor wala is dividing, and it is forming a chain. Okay. Okay. It is forming a chain. So, the lowest wala suspensor cell hai. This is called basal cell. ये याद रखना है दिस इज अ चेन ऑफ सेल्स एंड इस चेन ऑफ सेल में लोएस्ट सेल इज द बेसल सेल समझ गए एंड ये वाला अभी का सस्पेंसर है इसके ऊपर जो एम्ब्रियो सेल है दिस इज आल्सो डिवाइडेड एंड इट इज फॉर्मिंग अ ग्लोब्यूल टेप ऑफ टाइप ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर ठीक है जस्ट क्लंसली इट इज डिवाइडेड एंड इट इज फॉर्मिंग अ ग्लोब्यूल टाइप ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर So, this 
पार्ट को ये है ये ठीक एंड ये है ये वट इट इस पार्ट को वी आर कॉलिंग ये जो ग्लोब्यूल इसको लिखेंगे ग्लोब्यूलर एम्ब्रियो एंड दिस होल ओवरऑल यू विल राइट कि दिस इज अ प्रो एम्ब्रियो स्टेज This is a pro embryo stage. Got it, everyone? Yes. Okay. Next page, which one is? So, वो तो idea मिल गया कि which part is forming the globular embryo? अब gradually ये suspension है. <coughs> basal part again the same, है ना? Basal cell. This is the part of suspension only. ठीक ये जो the suspension cells are now pushing this pro embryo globular embryo and ये जो pro embryo है is now taking the shape of a heart ठीक we are moving towards the journey of the dicot so it is now of course nuclear होंगे सबके पास ठीक this is now on the heart तो so, इस स्टेज को ओवरऑल वी कॉल हार्ड शेप प्रो एम्ब्रियो राइट हार्ड शेप प्रो एम्ब्रियो क्लियर है किसी को कोई डाउट यहां तक क्लियर चल नाउ हार्ड शेप प्रो एम्ब्रियो इज देयर अगेन एंड इट इज पुशिंग एंड दैट इज कमिंग डाउन ठीक इसके प्रेशर से दिस इज कमिंग इन दिस वे आप सोच रहे हो कि यहां से जाना चाहिए but it is coming inclined towards this side okay so gradually gradually you are going to watch a scene which is somehow like this which is somehow like this you know and this is how like adult embryo is going to look like in a dicot plant ab kya kya what is going to be the fate you should know क्या चीज क्या बन रही है ये ये लोएस्ट पार्ट है बेसल सेल वाला दिस इज द लोएस्ट पार्ट ये पार्ट इज गोइंग टू फॉर्म द रेडिकल रेडिकल ठीक ये पहले से मैं पॉइंट कर लेते हैं व्हाट आर दीस टू फ्लैप्स पॉइंट है ठीक है वेरी गुड दीस टू फ्लैप्स आर गोइंग टू फॉर्म द कोऑर्डिनेटेड सो कितने कोऑर्डिनेटेड जो आप वाचे टू टू ऑफ कोर्स दिस इज द जर्नी फॉर दी डाइकॉट तो टू कोऑर्डिनेटेड बन गए हैं Got it? Yaha pe this is the point which is plumule. Plumule means plumule is going to give rise to the shoot system, है ना? Shoot system means exact true plant is going to come from this part, right? And ये radical है. Radical से you are going to get the root system. ठीक एंड सम टाइम आफ्टर दिस विल गेट सराउंड विद अ रूट कैप और अनदर वर्ड फॉर रूट कैप कैलिप्ट्रा ठीक अनदर वर्ड फॉर रूट कैप इज कैलिप्ट्रा एंड टाइप ऑफ टाइप ऑफ मेरिस्टम वर्किंग हियर कुछ याद है ना टॉम यहां का कैलिप्ट्रोजन राइट Anatomical stuff you are forgetting. Yeah, Terminus. So now we will do in this anatomy of flowering plant. Then we will discuss. Okay. Yeah. So root cap is also called calyptra. Tell me. Of course, these are the regions where more meristematic cells are present and they are actively dividing. Yeah. Here is the clear. Okay. Cotyledons are. Plumule are. And then radical are. Okay. Now just check. It is difficult to mark in this one point, but again it is very easy to mark here. That the region below the cotyledon. <coughs> See, there are two things. Epi means above and hypo means down. Okay. So yes, the region below the cotyledon is hypocotyle, and region above the cotyledon means epicotyle. Or who can mark for the kega? When you will watch that epigotai, जब ये plumule has rise into the shoot and वहाँ से जो region दिखेगा that is the epigotai, ठीक है? And भाई I am saying कि in this stage it is difficult to mark the epigotai, ठीक? But it is easy for us to mark the hypogotai. So I hope ये clear है, ठीक? So let's see. 
slide path we have seen, but let's see the type of germination here only. The type of germination here only. The seed path we have sown the seed. Okay? Seed dala and seed means fertilized thing. At the seed, how it is the seed forming? <laughs> so the integuments thing, the integuments, they have lignified and they have formed the seed coat. Okay? Integuments they have lignified. And if what is the most of the plants like if they are like non-endospermic even, you know? Okay, where the endosperm is used up during germination and maha pe jo non endospermic hai they are also like usually die cotyledonous maha pe cotyledonous ko bhi they are using up in their germination okay so some of these plants they agar kabhi kabhi aapko dikh jata hai some of the part of the endosperm is left out which is called <coughs> perisperm Perisperm, yaad aya, like as the skin peel of ban banana hmm. Okay, perisperm is seen Okay Okay, here they go Ab yaha pe like seed you have sown Okay, seed se kya important hai Ke germination mein embryo aega, plant aega, seedling will come Okay, so two types of germination strategies are seen one is called epigeal germination and other is called the hypogeal germination. Hypogeal germination means germination below ground and epigeal germination means germination above ground. Okay? This is the meaning. Hai. But this may be two things are common. A kuch or cheese aapko mil jayegi isse. Yahan se like ye nikla, seed se radical aya. Think radical is coming and then it is giving above a type of shoot and 40 ladens you are going to watch here. 40 ladens you are going to watch here means above the ground. Means of germination ho raha hai and this 40 ladens are unwrapping themselves above the ground. 40 ladens aaye and then a seed lane is seen. Yaha pe you can clearly <coughs> mark out this hypocotyl and apicotyl. This region ko you call <coughs> hypocotyl and this region ko you call apicotyl. apicotyl. Very good. Clear hai? Yes ma'am. Hypogeal germination mein what is happening? Hypogeal mein kya hoga bhai? Ye seed tha and then below only forty redens will get up and whatever you are going to watch is above the ground is the seed lane. Okay. Hypo, hypogeal means generation means the total germination has taken place below the ground. And epigeal means germination has taken place above the ground. Only cotyledons are above the ground. And here the cotyledons are below the ground. Okay? Clear to Clear to everyone? Clear to Uh, exactly 
exactly next to organic form we are not getting anything you know and in fact whatever honey we are getting it is after some chemical treatment only and that is exactly not just they are doing the chemical treatment but exactly they are farming this okay honey ke proper bee cages they made and where they are having all these farms and they have the same cage they can use again and again and of course the bee is reproducing bee is giving this pollen grain repeatedly and the potential is lost ठीक वहां पर भी वो बोलते हैं कि लाइक दिस इज कलेक्टेड फ्रॉम द वाइल्ड हनी बीज फ्रॉम द घाटीज ऑफ कश्मीर और फ्रॉम द हिमालयन वाइल्ड हनी है ना सो लाइक दिस इज ऑल सच अ मार्केटिंग स्ट्रेटजी ओनली सो दिस बी पॉलन इज आल्सो स्पेशली बी वर्ड रखना है ना कि लाइक द इंसेक्ट पॉलिनेशन वाली बीज दे आर यूजिंग दिस इज टू tell this thing they are using this bee pollen so as to make you enthusiastic they like we are eating this very nice type of pollen but however they are nutritive agents okay however they are nutritive agents but anyhow uh, another thing from this is like there are lot of pollen allergies also known ek to aapne dekha pollen ka good thing example i have given was bee pollen and another thing famous from the pollen is their pollen allergies one such plant named parthenium parthenium this parthenium is also called carrot grass to get this so carrot grass is it the one quick part of the carrot Anyone who knows the botanical name of the carrot? Carrot का botanical name? Docus carota. This is the scientific name of carrots. And parthenium is a different thing. But both of them are having the same leaves. Okay, the leaves are similar, and that is why parthenium is called the carrot grass. Okay, otherwise carrot kya hai? It's a underground food which you eat, right? So parthenium, the pollen are highly allergic, and they come along with the wheat to India, है ना? They are indigenous to India. They are not a part of India only. ये आ गई थी गलती से. so this parthenium is also giving a lot of allergy otherwise many people do they do get allergy from the pollen of the grass from the pollen of rose even okay but this is one of most allergic agents and when allergy is there your the mast cell get activate and they start producing a lot of histamines you know and we show allergic responses okay tada ye sari cheeze Chale, come to one another thing. Come back to this thing. So then, lot of this fertilization has taken place, and already we have reached to the embryo. ठीक, okay? embryo तक आ गए हैं. So we have seen the fate of the intubates, which have formed the seed coat. But intubates are the covering of the ovule, है ना? Not the ovary, not the ovary. The ovary wall will become the <coughs> इसकी वॉल बनेगी ovary की वॉल and it is not a thing कि each ovary is going to have a single ovule like mango में है single ovule ठीक है that is example of true fruit only but ovary wall will become the fruit wall called हम्म mm, बताओ एरिका called perica ठीक है तो दे आर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट वेरी गुड रेशमा दे आर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ फ्रूट्स लाइक फ्लैशी सकुलेंट बहुत तरह के फ्रूट्स होते हैं बट एग्जैक्टली वी आर गोइंग टू डिवाइड देम फर्स्ट इनटू टू कैटेगरीज ऑफ फ्रूट वन इज द ट्रू फ्रूट एंड अनदर इज द फॉल्स फ्रूट ट्रू फ्रूट इज फ्रॉम द फर्टिलाइज्ड एग True fruit is from the fertilized egg. वापस चले यहाँ पर 
ये and this was the part which was like a ovary and like अभी इसकी जरूरत नहीं है style and stigma when the fruit when the fruit seeds are getting mature meantime these things are also getting mature and this whole of these things they fall off ठीक these things they fall off if a true fruit has to become of course this will also ये तो fall नहीं हो सकती but right this is becoming the base of the fruit है ना if a true fruit has to become this part this is the thalamus or the receptacle so this will become the base of the fruit but exact fruit you are going to get from the ovary just me like बहुत सारे seeds हो सकते हैं है ना कि ovules are maturing by lignification of integument similarly or ovary wall is also maturing and now is called the fruit wall ya perica but false fruit way it has been seen is sometimes the thalamus in place of the ovary is forming a fruit thalamus diploidy to n root the ovary jo fertilized yahan par already ovary part thi wo 2n uske ovules 2n hai na to ploidy pe agar koi check karta hai to please yaad rakhiyega hai na yahan pe already 2n 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 hi we are watching ha ye zarur ho sakta hai ki ovule is now a part of new generation ठीक एंड जो बाकी की चीज है दैट इज द पार्ट ऑफ पेरेंट जेनरेशन ओनली है ना सो फ्रॉम द पेरेंट जेनरेशन एलिमस से समटाइम फ्रूट्स यू आर वाचिंग लाइक योर एप्पल या कैशियो एप्पल कैशियो एप्पल ठीक सो दे आर द फॉल्स फॉल्स अदर देन दैट वेरी गुड रेशमा अदर देन दैट मेनी मोर मेथड्स आप देख सकते हो fruits ke like which are called grain ya succulent ya fleshy okay which is not there in you and crt but when we will see this morphology of flowering plants maha pe bhi little bit more we will see on the fruits aur uske alawa i will give you one attachment to go for all these different types of fruits so we i will send to you okay baki more than just we will be watching with this morphology of flowering plants <coughs> Last one which I have to say to all of you, okay, like tomorrow we are going to talk about the PYQs. We will discuss the PYQs. Last class, me we are going to talk about we are do going to do the PYQs and what more we are going to one point is left which is the apple mixes poly embryony. We will be doing it tomorrow only. Okay, so I hope that today's class is clear to everyone. So take care for today. We will meet in the next class. Hope you understand today's topic. Take care. Bye bye.